from the first visit that Ivan and I made to this site, we were aware that this is a very privileged site. Above all, it's privileged in its relationship to Lincoln Center. And of course, this is the Fordham's Lincoln Center campus. We are creating, with this building, a new face for Lincoln Center's campus toward Lincoln Center. And in the process, we're also creating a new enclosure for the plaza of the Lincoln Center campus. So these two very important open spaces, one which is private to Fordham, the other which is more public, the Damrush Park of, of Lincoln Center. We're in the middle of the cultural heart of New York City. Thrilled that from Josie Robertson Plaza, you can actually walk towards this building and it's in full view. So you get distant views into the site, which are tremendous. And you have the arches of the Met and, and the porticos actually framing the view of the building. So for us, as Harry said, to create a public realm by shaping the law school in the lower register, the idea of uh, using geometric maneuvers, uh, the idea of shaping it with an arc, both on the 62nd Street and on the plaza. The idea of that arc being that cupping motion, that idea of inviting entry, and then mirroring that arc to create an undulating curve to give that distinctive identity for the law school. This is special. I'm sure Yvonne would agree with me for us because our practice, as you know, has been international for half a century. Oddly enough, we have very few buildings in New York. I personally was never involved in a New York City building until a few years ago. And this is the first major university building in Manhattan. It's the first challenge of that kind that we've had. So this is a rare event for us. It's not as if we did this kind of building every day in New York. This is something that Yvonne and I and our partners share, is the idea that building in the city is an intervention in an ongoing life. And you have to respect the life that has brought you to the point of this intervention. And you have to understand and think about how the intervention you make is going to affect the life that comes after. And that's what's so exciting. And, that, and, and when you think about it that way, you never think about a building as a monument. People may come to think of it as a monument if it is thought to be emblematic of a particular idea in architecture or in the culture. It might, it might acquire that status, but that's not the way we think about it. Building here was the challenge of celebrating Lincoln Center and enlarging its impact in the city by making a building here that was responsive to this circumstance. And, and I think, therefore, I would argue that this building contributes to the success of Lincoln Center, not just by honoring it, but by the fact that it actually creates a, another institutional presence, quite separate from Lincoln Center, responsive to it, that draws Lincoln Center into the city. Mm -hmm.